how do I know when my figs are ready to harvest? Hey friends, it is Brian from 129 Homestead. It's fig season, friends. I wanted to bring you along and answer the question, how do I know when my figs are ready to harvest? It's not real difficult. You can feel the figs or you can look at how they're sitting on the branch. It's, it's drooping down a little, but it's still kind of, kind of sticking up. This is a perfect example. You see how that, that fig is hanging, hanging down? You can touch it and feel that it's nice and tender. And there we are. There's our beautiful fig. And friends, I gotta tell you, they are so sweet and delicious. Mm. Mm. I think figs are one of my favorites. The chickens like them too. So yeah, as you're looking at your fig tree, right? Pick the most ripe ones when you're around. You see that fig? It's perfect. Right? That was just right for harvesting. So now that we've harvested our figs, what do we do with them? But y'all stick around. I'm going to show you what to do with your figs after you've got them picked. I told you that we were going to do some fig preserves. It's July the 5th. We're going to get it done. Um, at least some of them this morning. The recipe is super easy. It's just like we do our pear preserve. If you, uh, if you haven't seen that video, just click the, click the, the box wherever it is and look for grandmother's pear preserves. It's July the 5th. I've got the figs picked. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through our, our figs and, uh, and cut the stems off. Right. You see, you see what I'm doing there, right? One note that I do want to make is use a fairly firm fig. You know, don't use a fig that is, for example, like this. Um, that fig is a little bit past its prime. You know, it's not bad, but as compared to that fig, right? That fig's just a little too far. That might be chicken food, or I might eat that as a snack. All right, friends, so here's how this thing goes. It's an easy recipe, just like, just like grandmother's pear preserves, right? That's an easy recipe for every two cups, of fruit, right? For every two cups of pears, you use one cup of sugar, right? With your figs, it's the same thing, friends. We got eight cups of figs, right? And we got four cups of sugar. Here's the only difference because figs are so dry and we don't soak them in the sugar like we do with the pears to draw that water out. We gotta put just a little bit of water in there and so that's two cups of water so eight cups of figs four cups of sugar two cups of water you see how that goes we're going to get them in the pot right over there and we're going to get them started and they got to cook for quite a while because we got to get that water out of them they'll probably cook easily for about two hours get it boiling turn it down to a simmer hey girls what are y'all doing y'all sure are acting funny I got some figs for you. What you got going on? You acting like there's a snake in the yard. Well, here's you some figs. 
They sure do love those fig. It's laundry day. First load on the lines. So the figs have been going for about two and a half hours and they're done. Uh, how do I know they're done? That's a really good question. Let me see if I can answer it. This portion of the video had some audio issues, so I've decided to do a voiceover. What I'm doing here is testing the viscosity of the syrup. You can see the syrup is kind of hot right now, and it runs fairly quickly. But if you see my previous test, that is at room temperature, and it's pretty thick. So that's one way to look at your syrup. Now it's time to jar up the preserves. I like to use a bowl underneath my jars. I like to use a slotted spoon to put the figs in the jar. That way I don't get a lot of syrup. After the jars are filled with figs, I'll come back and top them off with syrup. This ensures we get plenty of figs in the jar and not just a lot of fig syrup. Now it's time to top off the jars with your syrup. Wipe off the rim as always and put a lid on. Top it off with syrup. Wipe off your rim. Put a lid on and place it in the canner. You want to can it for about 15 minutes. So that's it, friends. That's how you make fig preserves. Here is the finished product. You can see we have a nice caramel color. They're beautiful and they're going to be delicious. You can use them in sauces or just put them on some toast. They're going to be fantastic. Now, I still have more figs to process. I think my next recipe is going to be strawberry fig preserves. That's what I fell in love with as a kid. Strawberry fig preserves. Would you like to see that? Put a comment down below. Thanks for sticking around. God bless. I love you.